Shalom Aleichem. Hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week, a quiet week, a week of safety, of security. As uh, the war here continues and Klal Yisrael does its thing, I want to share a thought about Avram Avinu, not so much related to what's going on around us, but uh, think about this for a second. If I were to tell you that LeBron James, LeBron James, the greatest, one of the greatest athletes, uh, contemporary athletes, if I told you he was also a master, master violinist, you kind of say, nah, I don't think so. That doesn't make sense. If, you told, if I told you he could also play tight end for an NFL football team, yeah, that you might buy into. That makes sense. But to say that this exemplary paragon of an athlete is also a violinist doesn't seem to go. Hard to be excellent, excel, perfect, two crafts that are so, so different from each other. Yet, in this week's Parsha, we're introduced to Avma Vinu for the first time. We, he appeared at the end of Noah, but here we are told of his, his life. And when we hear about Avram, we're told and we understand Avram was a paragon of Ben Adam La Makom. And when Hashem says, Lech Lecha, he doesn't even tell him where the destination is, Avram goes. When Hashem is going to tell him, Akedas Yitzchak, Avram's Vayashkim Avram Baboker. When Hashem tells a 99 year old Avram to have a bris milah, he doesn't hesitate, he doesn't vacillate. It's Vayashkim Avram Baboker. When Avram represents, what Avram represents is Tzivu Hashem comes and he acts, he does. And he surrenders and submits to Ratz Hashem. He is an exemplar of Ben Adam Lamakum. But we also know that this person, Avram, who is the first monotheist, is also an exemplar of Ben Adam Chaveru. And if we think Hachnas Orchim, who is the model of Hachnas Orchim, who is the model of Kiruv Esa Nefesh Asher Asu Bechoran, when Lot is taken captive, who is the one who's going to go ahead and protect his own flesh and blood? Who's going to cry out for stone? That's Avram as well. So he's a paragon of both, Ben Adam Lamakom and Ben Adam Lachaveru, you would think to excel. We see in yeshiva, sometimes you have guys who are masters. They're tremendous balei chesed, but not always so strong in the, in the base medrash. They're guys who are big, big masmitim in base medrash, but they're not always strong in the benad mechavero. Here we have the first Jew who is a master in both areas, in the totality of, of Avodos Hashem. And that's because when it comes to Avodos Hashem, it's not basketball and violin. It's not two domains. We often think, ah, there's two luchos, two domains, ben adam chaver, ben adam lamakom. It's not true. It's all part of being an Evid Hashem. And sometimes we play too much, not too much, but we emphasize. We emphasize ben adam lamakom, or we emphasize ben adam lechaver, but this is all the one package of being an Evid Hashem. And that's what the first Jew te- teaches us. The first Jew, Abba Avinu, tells us that these are not two disciplines. This is the same discipline of being an Ever Hashem, of caring about our father and also caring about our brothers. Because if my brother is in pain, then my father is in pain. It's all part, we're all part of the same family because we're all banim lamakum. So in these times where we need mitzvahs and we need deeds and we need mesiris nefesh in all domains is to be focused on all domains working on our tefillah, working on our limit Torah, working on our chesed, developing ourselves and not developing ourselves, developing our people, developing and enhancing the lives of others and building the community of Klal Yisrael, as we're seeing happen all around us, but it should last, it should last forever, and bring Mashiach, Bimheira, V'Amenu, Amen.